Hello and welcome to Glen ZB TV for Wednesday, the show that puts Glen ZB into your virtual headset. Yes, I'm bringing New Zealand to the world and the world to New Zealand. And look, people are concerned that they may have been meat, eating uh, diseased meat for ages. Um, and what I'm saying is, is that that might be the case, but maybe it's better. Maybe it, unless we compared eating the diseased meat with normal, it might taste nicer. You got to give these things a go. I mean, moldy cheese, for example, that doesn't sound particularly appetizing, but I tell you what, melt a little bit of that over your diseased meat. <laughs> Uh, we just need another name for it. Probably calling it diseased meat is, is that's not a way to market it. Um, the, here's some advice I think that uh, the people of Mount Albert can really take to heart. Um, Pocono, which is a, uh, well, it was a small town. Now it's quite a large town just south of Auckland. Uh, They're offering the residents uh, of Mount Albert a few tips because of course this is where this big development's going up that everybody's up in arms about that it's all tiny residences no car parks you know all the rest of it um anyway this is because there's a population explosion going on in pocono basically so there's not too many details in this particular uh, news story uh other than the fact that you know there were 2000 people there in 2013 and then within the next 10 years it's going to go up to 7000 um, but I think reading between the lines, the key is to have awesome bacon and really cheap, amazing ice creams. I think that's, that's what, if, if we've learned anything from Pocono, that's what we've learned from Pocono. And, and some, some other advice for you now, this is, this advice comes from me. An early child expert has revealed gun safety programs are already used in a number of preschools. Uh, basically, what what's happening is is they 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 sort of give out cardboard guns and targets and talk about weapon safety. Um, this is to teach kids basic rules about gun use. And for me, like, here's my advice: don't use them at all. That's for anything ever. It's a it's sort of the most basic advice. I feel like you can avoid a lot of problems if you just never, ever use a gun. Finally, <clears throat> um, I'm off to the Bay of Plenty tomorrow. After I leave here, basically hitting the road for a, for a weekend at Mount Monganui. Lovely. Meanwhile, in the Bay of Plenty, police have made 30 arrests and say more are likely after a six-month investigation into organised crime and drugs. So, I mean, this is just another clear example of how awesome the Bay of Plenty is. They've got an organised crime scene there. Um, I mean, you're struggling to find some really well organised crime anywhere in New Zealand, but they've got themselves together. They've got 22 men and 8 women who've been arrested, uh, facing a range of drug-related charges, including supplying, possession to supply, and conspiracy to supply methamphetamine and cannabis. And they've seized... More than $2 million worth of assets, including properties, vehicles, boats, and jet skis. Come on, it's basically Miami Vice. I can't wait to get there and get me some of that action. And hopefully not get arrested. Whew. Bring it on, Bay of Plenty. It's so plenty. I am Glenn ZB. Thank you so much for having me in your virtual headset. I will see you back here again tomorrow. It'll be Thursday, but it'll feel like Friday.